They're a key ingredient in any orchestra. Most people know what they look and sound like, but how are they made? Olaf, I think it's safe to say by the looks of things that you're a man that can answer this question for us, yeah. where do you start with making a violin? Well, you first start with the shape, so you've got to work out what kind of shape you want to make it, and there's a lot of old makers that people copy, or they make up their own shape, which, you know, it has to look similar to a violin, of course. Um, and from there, you, you create a template, yep. and you use that template, and you draw that onto a wooden mould. And now the whole instrument's going to be built around that mould. Ah. And so then the you bend the sides around that mould. And once that's all glued together, you, um, you get the two blocks of wood that are going to become the top plate and the back plate. This violin is starting to take shape, but it's got a long way to go yet. So we glue everything together and it looks a little something like this. That's right. Um, well, it, it took me a little bit to get to this stage. I had to, um, you know, I had to carve the top plate and I had to carve the back. Is that what... That's nice right. Draw. It's called yeah. It's all hand carved and it's called the arching. And then I um, then I uh, put in the purfling. I put in um, I carved in the f holes. Yep. And also I made the scroll, it's which a bit uh, beautiful. Yes. And with some varnish, it will look like this. That is looking quite amazing, but there's yes. still a few kind of important bits. Yes, um, it's a bit hard to play <laughs> like this. Difficulty. So uh, now the next bit's very important. Like it makes it, it, it's a difference between how easy or how difficult the instrument is to play. Okay. So um, yeah, so that's putting on a bridge, um, putting on a tailpiece, a chin rest, and very importantly, the sound post, which joins the top to the back. And in some languages, it's called the sole. How beautiful. Yes. And then, of course, I have to add the strings. Minor yes. detail. Yes. <laughs> and voila, we have the finished product. It looks absolutely <laughs> amazing. But Olaf, I think the true test is for you to have a play. Okay. So, we can, <laughs> so we can see what it sounds like. There's your bow. We're ready for this. You can make beautiful violins. Can he play them as well? What have we got? Beautiful. You did a great job with that one. What are the main things that alters the sound of the instrument? Okay, well, it's, it's in the way the, the shape of the instrument has a big influence. Yep. On, and also the thickness of the plates. So if the plates are thinner, they um, the instrument makes a deeper sound. Or ah. if they're thicker, they, it sounds a bit sharper and higher. That's cool, yeah. yep. And uh, the other one is the bridge. The bridge is very important. Uh, if you change the shape of the bridge, it changes the sound. sound. Lives and breathes violins, and as you can see, his passion has rubbed off on his family. And lucky for them, they've got dad on hand if anything should ever happen to their violins. Touch wood, it doesn't.